Hey guys, Coach here with this week's Plant of the Week. Hey, this week we are talking about a compact, upright Russian sage. Hey, let me introduce you to the Lacy Blue Russian sage. And the, what really I'm attracted to this one is not because it's a Russian sage. I think those guys are the most versatile plants that we can possibly own. But this particular one really resists that heavy bloom lay down that some of the more native Russian sages and the ones that are cultivared out there tend to do. If you do not prune them back, etc. These guys don't lay down at all. They're very upright and stiff when it comes to their growth habit. But Russian sage in general, zones four through 10. I mean, that is like where I live all the way down to SoCal and Florida areas. That's uh, that's pretty versatile. I mean, sub zeros all the way up to the humidity that the deep south can actually offer. This hardy perennial is very heat and drought tolerant once it's established. It requires very little water once it's established. Maybe only during dry spells you could give it a little bit. And if you cut it back repeatedly during the year, you'll get that first flush of late spring, early summer, and then once it goes away, you can cut it down and it'll it'll pop right back in a matter of a few weeks and bloom all over for you. And you can go through that process three and four times in a growing season. It's wonderful. If you like purple, if you like lavender colors, this one is a great alternative to the colder regions where you can't grow lavender. You know, it does have a uh, bee and butterfly attractor to it. It does have the same colors as many lavenders. And this one is kind of about the same size. It doesn't get really big, probably a couple feet tall, a couple feet wide. So it's a very interesting Russian sage. I suggest that you take a look at it. This particular one, and there's probably other growers too. This one comes from the Monrovia company. So look for their typical green pots. I think it's a very versatile plant, very good when planted in masses. It's not a heavy feeder, so you don't have to feed it a whole lot. And hey, you know, you got color off and on throughout the whole summer and into fall, which is a pretty good performer. Yep, Lacy Blue, Russian Sage. Look for it by name, ask for it if it's not on the table, and many times it can be ordered for you. Hey, this is Coach. I'll catch you guys on the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.